As long as there are idiots on YouTube, the Drunken Heathen Challenge will go on. Hi guys. Hi <clears throat> Sup. Halloween is fast approaching. Oh damn, this video's late. Or really, really early. And the one thing I'm not looking forward to hearing this Halloween season is this. Get away from those kids, you pervert. I'm phoning the police. Oh my god, have you seen Rebecca tonight? She looks like a total slut. Yeah, you're right. I didn't enjoy that either. Yes, the infamous slut shaming in Halloween. What more could we look forward to at Halloween than slut shaming? Oh well, there's the cool costumes, people handing out sweets, house parties, and it being the only acceptable time to dress up as a little girl. Riley. I'm sure everyone is familiar, there's always those people at the party or in your family that will make their point to slut shame during Halloween based on your Halloween costume. Whoa, 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 based on your Halloween costume? What if your Halloween costume is a slut? In which case, every weekend in my city is Halloween. Society basically tells women, I'm gonna use women first, and we're gonna also talk about men in this video. So yeah, we call everyone sluts equally. Society tells women they have to wear these nurse outfits or doctor's outfits or police officer outfits, and you know what, hey, if you wanna wear that, that's totally cool. We well, that really depends, doesn't it? For instance, here is a nurse, dressed in the uniform of the failing NHS. Nothing sexy here. And here is a slutty nurse outfit. So I'd say there was a conscious decision to be slutty there. I mean, they didn't rock up to the party in scrubs, did they? We tell them to wear these outfits, and when they wear them, we slut shame them and say that they look like they're skimpy, they're whores, they're just looking for attention from guys. Who's telling them to put these outfits on? Look, if someone puts on a costume because someone else told them to, then yes, they are definitely looking for attention. There are obviously a couple of exceptions to the rule here, um, school uniforms, work uniforms, and concentration camps. When they dress in these outfits, we treat them like sex-craving objects. What, like a, a, a fleshlight? We tell them that their worth on Halloween is as far as how much skin they show, but then we shame them when they wear that bunny or police officer or nurse costume. Right, bunny. See, when you say bunny, I think this. But you actually mean this. Just like anyone who dresses as a cat on Halloween, minimal effort and maximum sluttiness. Which is weird when you think about it because they're suggesting that I want to put it in an animal and that is never acceptable. David Cameron. But Michael, I'm just looking out for her. No, 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 no. But October is cold, Michael. If your divvy girl mate wants to go out dressed in nothing but shoelaces, it is your duty as a friend to make her wear a fucking jacket. I can see her nipples. She shouldn't be wearing that. <laughs> what if she's wicked fat? No one wants to see that. Do everyone a favor and get her to dress like the Taj Mahal or something. No. And on top of that, we do this thing where we call men man whores. And Halloween, if a guy is wearing a toga outfit or something that's sexier and shows off his skin, we'll call him a man whore. A toga outfit is the sign of someone who just didn't try. A man whore is someone who will sleep with anything, like your mate dressed as the nipply Taj Mahal. And more power to him. Man whore got a dick, fat bitch needs dick. I don't see a problem. Um, and first of all, this is just boggles my mind when we say things, we put man in front of a word. Kind of like we do when we put man in front of buns, we say guys have man buns, it's just the idea that masculinity is so damn fragile. Yeah, I've wondered about that. Like a male nanny is called a manny, but by the same rule, a female nanny should be a fanny. See, I, I don't think it's anything to do with masculinity, just people like making up new words, like Brexit. Fucking Brexit. Now look, I realize that not all guys out there hate when people call them man whores. They joke about it. It's ah ha ha, I'm a man whore. And women do it with the word slut. Or whore. It's a term of endearment a lot of the time, like, all right, me old slut, or oh grandma, you're such a whore. All right, that's not a term of endearment, but if you think about it, they've had long lives, you know, I can guarantee your grandmother has had some dicks in her time. Oh, damn. Kind of just perpetuates the idea that all men are these sex-craving hounds. Give a guy the respect that you would give him outside of that costume that he's wearing on Halloween. But who isn't doing that? That guy in the toga could still fold me like a map in his civilian clothes. Nothing changes just because he's wrapped in a bedsheet. On Halloween, people can wear what they want and you really shouldn't leave it up to yourself to call somebody a whore, a man whore, a slut, what have you. Not based on their costume, no. But if a guy or a girl has fucked three people before the Jack Daniels comes out, you've got yourself a slut. It sucks because as a guy, I can do things like wear a, an outfit that shows off a bit more skin. I remember last Halloween season, I wore um, this police officer outfit where my sleeves were cut off and I was wearing short shorts 
and no one gave me a problem. Well, of course not. Most people love gay guys. Granted, if a woman wore that at a party, people would be staring at her and taking pictures of her and posting it online. Are you a bit jealous that you didn't get that kind of attention? Because I'm getting that vibe from you. Now realize what you're thinking. Michael, stop being so goddamn uptight. No, I was thinking whiny, but yeah, close enough. I say these things because they really bother me. I really can't stand it when people take it upon themselves to, to slut shame and to tell people that they shouldn't be wearing what they're wearing. But does any of this actually affect you, Michael? Or has that policeman outfit gone to your head? Um, they're not the problem. What they're wearing is not the problem. What's in your head and what you're telling them, how you look at them, that's the problem. Ah, oh, no, I'm guilty of wrong think again. If only I could be the correct kind of judgmental, Michael, like you. So this Halloween season, be nice to people. No. Tell them that they look great. Their costume looks amazing. I'm sure they worked hard on it. It's Halloween, Michael. Not Comic-Con. Now listen, we should be able to wear whatever we want, and there is no problem with dressing sexy at Halloween, whatever that means to you. Well, yeah, but within reason. Although something tells me you don't draw the line at assless chaps. But remember, if you're gonna have sex this Halloween, be safe, pack some condoms, and- Mom, stop it, you're embarrassing me. And on that note, just because somebody at a party might be wearing that hot toga outfit or that hot police officer outfit- Someone? Cut, be honest, you're talking about yourself, aren't you, Mr. High Opinion? You might as well be stroking it on the screen. That is not an invitation for sex. Just because they might be wearing an outfit that shows off a bunch of skin, it doesn't mean that they want to have sex with you. What if their costume is a sign that says, have sex with me? Is that an invitation then? This is a minefield. And especially if alcohol is involved, they can't consent. What? So a shot of vodka means you can't give con Oh fuck, I have been raped so many times. Consent is not sexy, it's necessary. Or, if you ask for it quietly, no one has to wake up. Thank you for watching guys, and thank you to Kind Heathen for the latest challenge. I will be sure to bill you for the loss of brain cells. And you be sure to check out his channel, the link is in the description. And remember, Halloween doesn't mean peen.